The management of patients with renal impairment is challenging. At this uh, meeting here at IMS 2022, I chaired a session with Dr. Jakubowiak on this very issue. We touched on a number of salient uh, points in the management and of patients with renal insufficiency. Renal insufficiency occurs in about 20% of patients with multiple myeloma at diagnosis, and actually occurs in a majority of patients sometime during their journey. Uh, unfortunately, there are patients that are even uh, ending up on dialysis at the time of presentation. And uh, what we have to uh, make sure at the outset is that, especially in milder cases, that uh, we make sure that the renal insufficiency is due to the underlying plasma cell dyscrasia, because a lot of these patients are older and have other conditions like diabetes, hypertension, and sometimes what they really have is a precursor condition like uh, smoldering myeloma or even MGUS, and just assuming that the renal insufficiency is a diagnostic criteria for myeloma can sometimes do the patient injustice. And we even in some cases go to the extent of doing a renal biopsy if we are not sure. Uh, the renal biopsy doesn't always give us the answer and sometimes we do end up with therapeutic trials of uh, treatment, but we try to go that extra yard to make sure that we have done everything in these kind of doubtful situations to figure out whether the myeloma uh, is uh, uh, the problem or whether it is something else causing the renal insufficiency. For patients who do have renal insufficiency, what we have to make sure is uh, that patients get well hydrated. And the role of uh, procedures like plasmapheresis is something that is still somewhat controversial. The uh, role of dialysis obviously is uh, there for those that have severe renal dysfunction. In Europe, there are special dialysable membranes available that can filter out light chains. Those are not available in the United States at the moment. But ultimately, long term, what you have to rely on is more effective control of the underlying disease. We're fortunate that in the last 20 odd years, our ability to reverse renal dysfunction, even uh, patients on dialysis, is now in excess of 50%. And I think that proteasome inhibitors have been felt to be the backbone of therapy for these patients. What we have to be also cognizant of the fact is that often these patients are sicker at the time of presentation and physicians may have the urge to be gentle and not give them aggressive treatment, but paradoxically, that may actually end up harming the patient. I think that as aggressive a treatment as possible should be offered because uh, time is of the essence. When you have uh, aggressive approach, you can reverse the renal dysfunction, but if the renal dysfunction is allowed to persist for uh, several weeks, then recovery of renal function is often not achieved. And recovery of renal function early is important because people who recover their renal function early, they have nearly similar outcomes long term as people with myeloma who present with normal renal function. Whereas if your renal function becomes permanent, then unfortunately outcomes could be inferior. Uh, we also know that in the case of bone disease, uh, bisphosphonates uh, may sometimes be challenging, but a dose of bisphosphonate, even in a patient with renal insufficiency, is usually permissible. However, a drug like the Nusimab is also probably a better drug in this uh, situation. So I think that uh, renal insufficiency is something that, uh, fortunately, we are able to give most of our drugs. Lenalidomide requires a dose reduction but it is not renal toxic in its own. Uh, the use of modern drugs, uh, fortunately, also are probably uh, appropriate. Every new drug that gets approved does do a trial in patients with renal insufficiency. Some require a little dose modification, but fortunately, even transplant is feasible in patients with renal insufficiency. You just have to reduce the dose of the chemotherapy we give before the transplant. So I think patients with renal insufficiency uh, are challenging in multiple myeloma, and we just need to be sure that we appropriately tackle the problem because otherwise it could lead to long-term consequences.